Okay, let's get started. So, my name is Rasmus Toivonen, and um, I was asking in Twitter whether I should uh, do this kind of tutorial about BERT and especially how to do text classification in Finnish with BERT and in somewhat ruffling uh, uh, heading that in less than 50 rows of code and then also uh, I want to show how to deploy that model to AWS Fargate so somewhat people were interested so I decided that as we don't yet have this kind of tutorial in Finnish or for Finnish um, models so I decided to do it and and I made this little overview, so let's get through it. So, what I want to accomplish in this tutorial is that um, we will train BERT model or a text classification model that utilizes BERT to classify chat messages to different topics and we will be utilizing ktrain wrapper around uh, BERT and we will get later to what, what is ktrain and for the BERT model we will utilize the pre-trained FinBERT model from Turku NLP group which is a Finnish like research unit in, in Turku and so I want to give some kudos to you guys there for releasing it so I can make this tutorial. Then after we have trained the model we will have to turn that into an API that can serve then predictions from text so we will be utilizing fast API for that. And then in the last part I will show how to deploy the API to AWS Fargate and how to do the inference in that way and make some tests about the predictions. So that is the overview and the videos will be divided somewhat to five parts so we will have the setup phase, uh, setup phase, then the introduction to data gathering so how I have gathered the chat messages data which are from uh, Suomi 24 which is a Finnish uh, like this text uh, chat forum you could say and one of the biggest in Finland then I will show how to train the models with ktrain first we will be utilizing the BERT multilingual model uh, to get some reference like um, results from the like basic model and then I will show you a few tricks how to get this working with the Turku NLP model and we will see, see whether we can improve on the multilingual model. Okay, then uh, we will set up the inference environment and do the API development with fast API as discussed earlier. earlier. Then we will deploy the API to AWS Fargate and then make some tests and uh, there are a lot of prerequisites for this tutorial I won't go through all the things that uh, go into this tutorial so I expect that you have some data related Python programming skills I won't go through each and every function that I wrote and written and why I have done it in that way but if you have a question you can of course post them but uh, I won't go through all the things in the videos then uh, I will be utilizing GPU in this tutorial so I recommend that you have NVIDIA GPU and you have CUDA and CUDN installed and you know those things there's a link if you need to go through the installation and there are a bunch of like videos and tu uh, tutorial articles about that so and I recommend that you have GPU the training part will take forever if you don't have then I recommend that you have docker installed 
and it should be working from your command prompt. So if you type docker, it should respond. We'll be using the docker to containerize the app, uh, API once we deploy it to Fargate. Mm. Then you also ha should have Anaconda installed and working from your command prompt. So we will be utilizing Conda environment for the uh, environment setup. So once I type Conda, it should respond. Then in the deployment part, we will be, we will be utilizing AWS CLI, so it should be also working. So it is installed with VIP and, and you should also have mm, set up your credits and so that you have enough like um, permissions to accomplish all these things. I won't go through the IAM things in this tutorial. And then there are some downloads in this tutorial that you, if you want to follow this through, you should do. So here is the data that I have utilized and let's see where this leads. So this leads to the uh, my uh, like training file and this is shared in my uh, Google Drive so you can download this file from here or you can download some of your own if you want to but I suggest you download this first and go through the tutorial once and then maybe then after that get your own data set for your own problems. Mm. Then the Finbird model file so this is direct download link but if this goes broken somehow or they change the link so you can search for Turku NLP's uh, github repo finbird and there should be these model files so uh, we will be utilizing this case finish bird base model so there's that but hopefully this has given you somewhat overview what we're doing and what i'm expecting from you if you want to do this tutorial and we will continue in the next video uh, for the setup of the training environment. So stay tuned and see you in the next video.